Hey folks, E.T. here, coming at you with the week ahead, checking on three tickers this week that I'm eyeing, FedEx, Moderna, and Apple, so FDX, MRNA, and AAPL. Just going to go through uh, what's going on, what I'm looking at, and how things are looking. FedEx is an interesting one to me. It's got a nice gamma support around 240-250. Uh, price is just a little bit above it right now. If you if you go down just a little bit and check, take a look at the daily, around 235, there's some support there as well. Uh, if you just draw that line, you can see. So 235 would really be my, I'm looking to long here, really be my, my entry point. And if the 240-250 breaks, I'd look for 235. Pretty simple for me here. And I just maybe might take got a gamma pull around 245 and then it's got a, a support and resistance line an SR line right just above that so what I'm really looking for is either a hold of 242.50 or a dip down to 235 for a long up to let's say oh 250 to this just to this support right here it's been ranging for quite a while so it looks like a breakout could be possible could be a breakdown as well uh, nothing is ever set in stone but a hold here or a hold at 235, and I'm looking for a few weeks out at 250. We'll take a look real quick uh, at his dark pool. Sorry, uh, 24219 is also a pretty, a pretty. It's its largest aggregate, so it's a very large spot. So that could be another point right there uh, to look for an entry. Remember, green is our largest aggregate. Blue are just other levels, and white is where price is when we're looking at our dark pools. So a real simple look there at FedEx. Uh, I just I use this charts page to kind of start gauging to find things. Uh, I always say it. I what I want is uh, so SR levels that are near gamma levels because those seem to have the most confluence with each other and they seem to be the cleanest plays when we get the direction right. All right, now we will jump into Moderna. Moderna here. So we're taking a look. If you go out to the daily, I'm on a shorter time frame. If you go out to daily, there's 83 and 85 are also some support levels. Uh, that's where I would ideally like to enter would be 85, 83. Uh, you could see if you go on to the daily that it, that it, it last time it, it dipped all the way down there, it did come back up. But interesting to see, we do have a support level right here, 87.14. All right, and we're at 87.41. So holding here is important. And what, what really interested me was this large gamma level up here at 105. Uh, there's a support around 102. So what I'd really like to see if it holds here or gets to 83, 85, it does have earnings next week. Uh, not the, not this coming week, but the week after 922. Uh, so what I'd really like to do is see if it dips down to here and get a long entry far enough out where, where the IV doesn't hurt as much to maybe one 100 or 105. Pretty simple there. Uh, look that I'm looking at. I try not to. I try not to make this difficult on myself or anyone else. I look for. I kind of scan through Scanny, uh, and I can show you that real quick. I scan through Scanny. I choose anything over 15, and then and then I click Optionable here. And then I, for just levels, I look for horizontal support and horizontal resistance, and I start looking for certain things. And not all of these showed up there, and they not always and they don't always do, but. When I find those, then I start to look at their SRs, their gamma. Sometimes I'll roll through and see what their see what their performance is for seasonality wise. I may I may scroll through their options and see what the customer positioning looks like, which here it is bullish, which is good. So we, we see that kind of going through gamma exposure around here. You can see that big level. It's just one of the things that I kind of take a look at as I go along there. And so so for Moderna, pretty simple, looking for a hold or a bounce. Let's take a look at its dark pool real quick. As you can see, right around 100, was, which is what I said my first target would be, is the largest aggregate dark pool level. All right, so I, when they get too far away from their aggregates, I start to eye them a little bit and think, when will we get back up to that level? Maybe we see a push down there, but that would still be, from where we are now, a very nice run up. Could get a pre-earnings run, so we'll see how that plays out. All right, now Apple has been interesting to me. It is in consolidation mode. Its largest pull is 190 on gamma, which lines up with some SR levels as we go along, especially if we pull out to uh, some, some shorter time frames. You can see it's really been ranging from 185 to close to, to just shy of 190 for a little bit, even, even up there a little bit. What I would really like is an Apple dip down to 185 to long it to 200 for a few weeks out. But there are some gamma levels that could repel price away. 192.5, a breakout over that, which is another. If you just look left, look left on your chart, draw a little little line, right? 
really does really does have some some price contention around there over and over again as you move that line around you can see it's very important over 192.5 will give me some confidence it's dealer deltas are slowly starting to move down a little bit you can see we're kind of stuck in a range right now and so when we see one of these big bars go down our chances of price increasing do go up there as they go so what we really like to see is a couple of bars downwards a break of 192.5 and a push upwards into that 200 finally for the breakout as far as the dark pool level goes kind of shows where price contention really is biggest aggregate is 188.93 which is right around where price is and just massive levels all the way right right very large levels as you can see here 185 as i called out a few minutes ago saying hey that's a spot i'd really like to see it dip 185 would be a great spot another solid level and it could just range in between here so for, if I'm going to play this, I'm not going to play it short term expire. I'm going to play it a little bit longer, and I'm going to give those cons time to time to go, as opposed to just trying to get it in weekly. And hey, if it pops, if it pops weekly, and we and we get up above this above this and break the 192.5, then we're good to go. It's a very very simple process I follow, folks. I try not to make this too difficult. I try not I try not to big brain every single thing I see. I look for crayon colors that match data that matches on the platform and then go from there uh, if you take your time to kind of go through and just take take looks at these things to take some time and scanning draw out your 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 support resistance check your dark pools check your gamma to see how, how, how closely they match to your SR levels you'll start to find a little bit more success especially if you if you set alerts like I do I'll set some alerts for 185 on Apple and I'll set I'll, I'll set some on Myrna and FedEx as well for levels to see if they break uh, break down or break up and then really from there I'll, from those alerts I'll recheck the data see if anything has changed in the platform and then I'll enter my position I'm not gonna miss out uh, on a whole lot that some people get so so impatient and I just want to talk about that for a second You're not gonna miss out if if something starts to go your way just very slightly and you have time on it and a plan you know if it, if it moves up 30 or 40 cents and you feel like it's too late but your thesis still looks like it stands and the market's participating you're not really you're not really missing much there you can you can still get in and take your time to go as you go along just remain patient that is the most important thing when you're looking at all this and you're drawing these levels out just take a deep breath and wait for the things you want to come to you that is what I do and then I play them with conviction once they once they happen as long as the platform still aligns I still have no trouble getting in all right that is what I am watching for the week everybody have a good day stay safe out there and get go get that Oprah money